If we move on to look at the outlook performance in terms of rainfall in the top graph and rainfall percentages, chances of exceeding median rainfall in the top and the percentage of the mean that was observed below. We have a two seasonal forecasting or four seasonal outlook systems. One is the dynamical model, which is the one I showed before. It's an atmosphere-ocean coupled model and it represents the physics of the system and steps them forward in time. The statistical model takes patterns of sea surface temperature in particular and looks at those patterns and determines performance based upon the outcomes of historical patterns of that type. The skill at certain times of the year, and I mentioned the autumn predictability barrier is low, and that's when the black line on the left, which represents skill, um, dips. But in fact, in the La Nina for 2007 and in other periods um, winter, of winter and spring in particular, we have the highest skill. The outlooks performed rather well. So given those outlooks, given the observed rainfall patterns that you can see down the bottom, that's November through to January, the, the bottom rainfall patterns across the continent, we have developed a capacity for forecasting stream flow. And this, well, the scale here is from December 09 to November 2010. And what these represent is a hit rate, a tercile hit rate where a hit is, like, is um, assigned when you observe stream flow tercials lands in the same as the most likely forecast. So when we give a forecast, we give where will it be, the top 10%, the bottom 10% or so on in between. What we see here is that the hits are the dark blue, missed by one tercile is the light blue, and missed by two is in the orange. And as we moved from December 2009 through to August 2010, the seasonal stream flow forecasts, which give some intelligence for the upcoming season, improved significantly. So the Bureau is working to develop products and services that will assist in providing what we're terming in the broadest sense in our new strategic plan, environmental intelligence uh, that provides utility for various sectors of the community. Just to show you another metric that demonstrates the amount of um, activity that was going on, certainly in our patch, these are flood warnings. And you can see the ramp up from January uh, 2009 through to January 2011. And so the Bureau uh, has been issuing thousands of warnings as a consequence of the, the very active weather season that we've had. We also, of course, have been providing lead times through forecasting the tracks of tropical cyclones. Here's an example of tropical low at the end of last month, just gone, showing a tropical low tracking across the Western Australian coast and the forecast track moving out back over the sea where the sea surface temperature and moisture fluxes were predicted to bring it back into a Category 1 cyclone. The Tropical Cyclone Information Bulletins are issued whenever a cyclone is active in the Australian region that I showed before from 90 to 160. A Tropical Cyclone Watch is issued if a cyclone is expected to affect coastal communities within 48 hours. And a warning when a cyclone is expected to affect coastal communities within 24 hours. Of course, marine warnings for severe weather and high seas warnings are issued throughout the period. So there's some of the activities that have been brought to the Bureau through this very active season. I'd have to say, looking at those record sea surface temperatures that we've had across the, the north of Australia, as you'd expect and consistent with the weather we've seen, we've had record high um, water vapour partial pressures, the amount of uh, moisture in the atmosphere that, of course, is what, uh, with convective activity, drives the formation of these very active systems. So moving on to the rainfall outlook. These, the, you can see here, 
the chances of exceeding median rainfall from March to May 2011, uh, 2011 this month, a little higher than average over a large fraction of the eastern part of the country. Probabilities, not a deterministic forecast, but six out of ten years with this sort of circumstance now, that's what we'd expect. We can move on to the temperature outlook here. So that the left we have the chance of exceeding the median maximum temperature, March through to May, and the minimum temperature on the right. So these products are available. So the, the way that the outlook is developing, of course, is because this is the, the period in which we expect to see, we would normally see the transition out from a La Nina. And this is what the Poama model, the coupled dynamic model of the Bureau, is suggesting for the remainder of uh, the outlook period. So we note that autumn is the period for the predictability barrier, meaning that models do have less skill when forecasting through this period. But this is, with that caveat, this is the, the circumstance at the moment. When we're looking at these outlooks, and if you go to the Bureau's website, you'll find that there are another half a dozen international coupled models that run in, run in the same um, experimental, if you like, forecast mode. All of them are suggesting that we move back from the ne negative temperature anomaly that characterises the La Nina out of the, this phase through this period at different months, if you were to take the month at which the various, the central tendency of the various models would reach uh, zero anomaly, it ranges from May through to about August in general. So that's the outlook period. I think I can summarise my talk here very simply. Uh, it's been a very active period. I don't need to read you through these summary lines. But quite clearly, um, this is a summer in which we've been busy. And as Jamie has said, there have been profound impacts of all sorts for agriculture, infrastructure, communities. And uh, in fact, my son was in Darwin and uh, he suffered a very significant loss himself through the recent events that we had in Darwin. So th there will be somebody that everybody knows who's been affected by these weather events. They are significant. Thank you.